All right, guys, this is Paul Spooner. I am here with Dwarf Fortress. Uh, with Dwarf Fortress. I've got a fort way up on the surface here. You can see level 46. I've got a magma glass furnace. It's got level 4 magma in a little uh, channel here. And then way down at the magma level, the magma sea at negative 93, I've got some magma buckets set up. I saw on YouTube that there's a guy who's showing you how to do magma buckets, but he's doing it in a weird way and this way works so much better. So I'm just gonna show off my system. So uh, here I've got uh, two levers, a uh, floodgate and a bridge. And there's the bridge. And it's, uh, it's just a retracting bridge. It's nothing fancy about that. We've got some wooden doors. They don't have to be metal. And then some iron grates on the level below it. So this is level negative 93. Negative 94, we've got some grates underneath, and then negative 95. There's just a little uh, area for evaporating the extra magma, so you don't have to do anything with it, because there's going to be some leftover. So what you do is you tell the dwarves, pull the lever, and then you wait till that happens. And we're just going to wait to watch this dwarf come down here, and then we're going to lock him in so that he can't wander off somewhere. It'll be a bit, but that'll be fine. There we go. Lock the door. And uh, then there's a, a little channel spot here where I channeled it out and I covered up with a floor so that I could open it up to my uh, floodgate. So here he goes. He pulls the lever. It opens the floodgate. It floods all in. Then we're going to tell him, you know what? Uh, you can close the lever again. And there we go, those minecarts are now full of magma, and there's six of seven magma here. Then we want to dump these down, so we're going to open the... Uh, you can see this showlink buildings that's connected to the bridge. So we're going to pull this lever, and that's going to open this bridge, dropping the magma. Yeah, I can see that little bit of magma mist there. Uh, dropping the minecarts and the magma down onto this level. You can't see the minecarts because they're full of magma, but you can see that they are here, in fact and they're full of magma. And so they stop here on the grates or the bars. Are these bars? Bars. And then on the level below, you've got a bunch of magma, but it's only one deep, so that will evaporate. And uh, again, these doors are locked. So now we're gonna unlock this door. Uh, well, actually, let's, let's handle this first. So we're gonna pull the lever again to close this bridge so that we can reset this once we've moved our guys up. Oh, is this a child? It's a child operating the levers. Well, thanks for your for your volunteer work. Dig, Degel, Degel Ushaneth, Ush, Ushulineth, Ushulineth, Degel Ushulineth. Thanks, man. You did a great job. All right, so now we're gonna unlock this door. The child's gonna go about his business, or maybe he's just gonna stand there playing make believe. Who knows? And we're gonna unlock this door. And then we've got two minecarts, they're full of magma. So now we're gonna go up to our smelting level. There we go, and I've got these two little track stops set up next to some channeled out spots. I've already done one here for my magma smelter. So I'm just gonna do this one. I've got a couple of track stops and these track stops are set up. I'll just show you how that's done. Uh, although if you have done this before, you know how to do this, but you just tell it to go dump in the direction of your hole. So like if I'm putting it up here and you say dump down, if I'm putting it down below, you say dump up so that it ends up dumping the stuff in the hole. Don't leave it on don't dump because then your magma will just sit in the minecart and not go anywhere. So I've got these set up properly so that they're going to dump into there. And now I'm going to set up a hauling route. So I've already got a few hauling routes set up. I've got my magma fill and you can see that my minecarts are full of magma here. There's one there and one there. And so I want to switch those minecarts to be placed up here. So magma dump, I'm just going to say add a stop. And uh, this will be the one on top. And then for more magma dump, same thing. There's a bug right now where the stop appears at the bottom, but if you reload it, it'll appear back in the right place. In fact, let's just do that. There we go. So now magma dump has got a stop. More magma dump also has a stop. And then we need to add the minecarts to it. You don't have to set any of this up. You don't have to set the conditions or anything. You can clear these if you want to, um, but you don't have to. So 
the thing you do have to do though is you have to tell them to use these minecarts. So these minecarts right now at fill north and fill south. And so we just want to say, hey, move these minecarts up to these locations. We're going to assign these minecarts. Now it's at magma dump, so this is the other one, fill. So now these are full, but you can see there's an exclamation, exclamation point saying they're not there. They need to be moved. And that is because they're not there. They need to be moved. So if we click on one of these and say follow and then hit the go button, you can see now they've got an assignment. Uh, someone's going to come down and haul this all the way up all however many tens of Z levels all the way back to the surface. I'm just going to ignore all this stuff. Uh, I'm going to reload this this map at some point. I'm just doing this for the, for the tutorial. So here he's hauling his, his uh, sorry minecart all the way up the stairs. And uh, you could make this go faster if you built a minecart track all the way up. Then they could push it at a normal walking speed instead of just carrying it. Um, but that's more work. And this is easy to set up because all you need is a staircase. So uh, this method is instead of a pump stack. If, if you want a huge amount of magma for like flooding out invasions or something, then you probably want a pump stack. If you just want enough magma to set up some smelters, uh, then the, the iron minecart bucket system works perfectly well. So you can see we're at negative 37 now and 36 and rising. And uh, once we get all the way up to the surface level, he's going to set that on the minecart stand. And I think the other one is also in transit. Yeah, so he's climbing up here. I, I ran the stairs down so I avoided breaching any of the cavern layers except for the first layer, so that my FPS wouldn't suffer and so they wouldn't get a bunch of invasion notices from cavern dwellers and stuff. Because uh, who needs that? So here you can see we're coming up to the, the cavern layer and rising past it. And I think my set... Oh, so this is my, uh, my waterfall. I've got a little portable drain set up there so that we've got a little bit of water falling down the staircase and he's going to be all happy with all the mist. So there we go. He drops it there. And hopefully uh, we'll get the second one in here shortly. Yeah, we'll just pause it. So you can see there's two level here. And then once this guy sets that other one, there we go. Now there's four level. And so now we can send these back down below. So we just go over to our hauling menu and we go back to the fill. Fill stop two, assign the mine cart. That one. Oh, and it's inaccessible because we left that door locked. Fill south. Uh, that one's to fill north, so that one's to fill south. All right, so that's fill. And then the last thing we'd have to do is uh, go back to our area and unforbid the door so that now uh, you can see it's accessible again. So now we've got our, un our door unforbidden. We probably want to forbid this door just in case, uh, so we don't want anybody wandering and playing make-believe in there on the iron floor bars. This is still forbidden because if anybody opens this door, it might catch fire from the magma sitting right next to it. And uh, then it's ready to reset. So let's just watch that because you can always have more fun by watching minecarts move around. Uh, watch that. So now again, we've got the hauling task. And this should go faster, uh, but not much faster. It turns out that iron minecarts are heavy enough even by themselves. So they're going to haul it all the way back down. And uh, again, if you wanted to set this up so that it was a lot faster, you could set a shaft up and then just drop the minecarts all the way down to the bottom by using a dump command. Um, but I didn't do that because I've got some joggles in my in my path, and uh, it's not really it's not really worth it. I'm only doing this a few times, so it, if you were going to be doing this a lot, uh, but not so much that you needed a pump stack, then yeah, you could set some stuff up. Or if you're going to be hauling a bunch of stuff out with minecarts anyway, then it might make sense to set up like a spiral minecart track or something uh, so that you could you could get your minecarts out of the basement easily. But uh, in this case, they're just hauling it up and down the stairs. And again, it's really easy. All you need is just some stairs. You don't need to set up anything fancy. The dwarves will do all of the pathing for you. So this is a very easy system to set up. And uh, you... The advantage of this over the other systems that I've seen is that you don't have to wait for the magma to dry up as if, if you're uh, flooding a, an area and then uh, waiting for the, you know, the magma to dry because then there's a level one magma on the floor. So in this case, it just drops onto the bars and uh, our second one, yep, our second one's arriving right now. 
they drop them there, and that's it. It's ready to reset, or it's, it's already reset now. So you just lock this door, and we're back to where we started. You can run the whole thing again, and uh, if you want, you can wait for this to evaporate, but if you if you run it, you know, infrequently, then it's never going to flood this whole thing. This, you know, make this large enough. Uh, this is the minimum size, I think it's 7 by, or 5 by 4, something like that. Um, but if you make this a little bit larger, then you could evaporate lava more quickly, uh, and it won't be a problem for you. So that is my magma bucket loading station and magma bucket uh, dump station. And I, uh, I hope that makes things a little bit easier for you guys so you don't have to wait for magma to evaporate all the time. And of course you can make this as big as you want. You can fill up as many mine carts as you want at once. But I found that two is plenty and that way I don't have all my dwarves locked up uh, hauling mine carts up and down the stairs all the time. There's, there's a leftover dwarves to do other tasks like plant the fields and things. And uh, then the last thing you would do would be to disassemble these track stops so that you can actually build something there and then build some new track stops at your next spot so that you can dump your magma. And uh, there you go. Hope that, uh, hope that works out for you.